everybody. Angela Patterson, Emerald Ambassador with Plexus, and welcome to our Living Free team call. I'm really excited to share tonight on moving your business forward. And I'm also going to do a few little um, update like on what's going on just to kind of update if I know y'all know about the leadership that we have coming up, the leadership retreat. I know that you probably know about the deals, but I'm just going to go over them really quickly because you need to take advantage of this. And then I'm going to recap gold school I just got back from and then dive right in. So hopefully y'all have your notes ready and you're ready to jump in with me. So first of all, as a lot of you might know, you need to take advantage right now of the deals that we have for our people. So we have obviously the $3 shipping for your level ones and even for yourself, if your order goes out before or by the 15th, that is huge. $149 orders get you free ship or not free shipping, but $3 shipping, free shipping for new people. Y'all people are crazy about free shipping. So utilize what we have going on here with your first join. You're going to get like a swag bag. It's really cute to put your like capsules in or your pills boxes in uh, and take it with you on the go. You're going to get shaker cups that actually keep your drinks colder. They're really nice plexus swag shaker cups with your first three people and of course we have all the bonuses but y'all the biggest deal is the leadership retreat now i want to see i'm looking i want to see a show of hands if you're excited and want to be on that cruise i want to see your hands are you excited do you want to be on that cruise okay would you like to earn the cruise okay now let me see your hands if you can say i am going to be on that cruise come hell or high water i will be on that cruise who is confident? Who's going to be on it? Who is going to sweep the content? Who's going to be in the top 50? Okay. <laughs> okay, y'all. This is so important because you need to envision yourself on there. But I'm going to get back to that in a little bit. Okay. That's part of my, my spiel here. I'm going to be talking about that. You got to be on that cruise in your mind before you even ever going to get on that cruise later. You got to be there now. You got to envision it. So right now, this month, y'all, double points. This is massive. So that's not only your people from March and April reordering and getting double points. So go back and talk to those people. Even if they turned their sub off, if they signed up in March or April and you can talk to them about getting an order in this month, tell them about the free shipping, tell them about the deal before the 15th or whatever, incentivize if you have to and get those double points for those people and get them happier and seeing that the products really work amazing. And then on top of that, um, of course, doing all the things, which we're going to dive more into in a minute with how to move your business forward and how this contest is the perfect setup for getting you to the next rank. It's so much more than about the cruise, although the cruise is fantastic. I want to afford all the cruises anytime I want. How about you? That's what we're going for is impacting lives and financial freedom and time freedom, right? That's the big picture. But this cruise competition, if you will, or contest is getting us to that place. So I'm going to just scroll down here in my notes. Um, so anyway, y'all, you just have to be on top of it with telling people all the things. So Amanda, I'm Amanda is on, right? If you're on Amanda, would you unmute? And I want to, I want to first say, we just got back from gold school. It was fantastic. I'm going to let Amanda, this was her first event ever with Plexus. So Amanda, tell us all the things that you loved. What was exciting about it? What did you, what was your biggest takeaway? Sure, sure, sure. Oh, hey, everybody. I love the comments. Um, yes, so this is my first event with Plexus. It was just amazing. I mean, not only was the food incredible, like that was just like a fun surprise, but also just like the leadership. I mean, I was just standing right next to like, you know, the founder of Plexus and he was so humble. And then I, I even met his son and I was just like, oh, I didn't even realize that it was his son because he said, oh, yeah, my, and he said his last name. And I was like, oh, wow. Okay. This is the family that started everything, like just like standing right there and like eating with us. It was just like, they're just so humble. And um, yeah, I would say like, I was going back through like the, um, you know, the booklet that we got and everything like that. And there's just so many golden nuggets, but especially, you know, just obviously how to take things to the next level, you know, from where you are at gold, you know, forward. And, um, but they just, they just really, it was such good information. 
um, I was just blown away by like the culture, um, the culture, um, just how they treated us really and the training and everything. I mean, it was just like, it was just so, um, to the point and it really did help me like going back through like some of the notes that I took and everything. So super exciting. Yay. <laughs> Thank you for sharing. It's so impressive too. You hit senior gold at the end of last month and got not only got to be there, but got to be there as a senior gold. <laughs> yeah. um, and so now I want, if Deborah, if you're up for sharing, I, I didn't know if you were going to be able to share, if you have the service to be able to, but you can go ahead and share some takeaways if you want, because you got to go to Deborah's Fast Start Gold. And this is not her first event, but her first gold school. Surprise, I'm here. <laughs> um, it was great. I mean, this this isn't my first event with Plexus, but it's been a while. So I, I had forgotten like how wonderful the culture is. I mean, it was just, everybody was just so loving and so kind and really made you feel like you were a part of it all. And um, I got to talk to Celeste again. So that was nice because I used to be under Celeste back in the day. And um, we don't really need to talk about how I switched over, but it was really wonderful to talk to her and just to even um, get encouragement from her because I, I really, when I, well, I was under someone else that was underneath her and this person had passed away. And so when she, and this was a long time ago and I had not been working the business. So I wanted to come over and come under Angela because we're good friends. And she like was so behind it. She said, yes, you need to be with your friends. So I was very encouraged that she said that it really blessed my heart. But um, the food was amazing. The training was amazing. There was just so much um, excitement. And I forget the lady's name. Was it Genevieve Scory? Oh, Genevieve, yes. She was amazing. I mean, I, just her grace and her, her ability to just get up there and talk from her heart and just, she had no notes or anything. She just, you know, talk, 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 talk. And just, <laughs> it was incredible, but um. Yeah, so what else did you want me to share, Angela? Just my takeaway or? Just your top takeaway. What was the number one takeaway? So I think my top takeaway was, she said you need to lead with emotion and not with facts. And I feel like I've been sort of leading more with facts than emotion. So that was like my biggest takeaway. Um, what else? Mindset, of course, just really having a positive mindset, really believe in the best. And um, one thing that she said, I'm trying to remember, oh, do it afraid. Yes, so, yes. So yeah, do it afraid. Yeah, but it was wonderful. Food was great. People were great. Um, we just had a really good time. And I was so Thanks. blessed to be able to go. I'm so, yeah. I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud Thank of you. you. And let me just now just say to y'all, this is why you need to be at convention. Whatever it takes, if you can be at convention, you need to be at convention. I can't stress that enough. Actually being there, I actually messaged Michelle and I said, I'm leading the call. I, I need to lead a call. I didn't say Monday night, but I said, I'm, I got to lead a call. I got to let, I'm, I was feeling fired up y'all just sitting in the room, rubbing shoulders again. You forget exactly what she said even though I just came back from a bunch of trips last year it was just all over again oh my gosh yes the excitement the thrill in the room you're with these diamonds rubbing shoulders with you normal people who are so encouraging y'all and who are gonna all say the same thing belief excitement passion belief mindset and guess what does that the most these events so I just cannot say that enough if it any if there's anything you can move around or if you just got to make it happen do it get there i remember the story about the hot dogs with fallon and that she packed her bag full of hot dogs because she barely had money but she got there and so i just had to just throw that out there again make a way to be there and invite your people who just started do not think oh they just started don't make excuses for other people give them the opportunity this could literally change their lives. It's changed my life from the last time I went. 
And I have no doubt, I actually had this feeling in my heart, this is going to be the best one ever. I really believe that. And I'm telling you, you want to be there. <laughs> so if you can't, I'm so sorry, but try to find a way if you can. Um, and I'm just going to jump right in, y'all. The number one thing, and I wrote down some notes, some of it I'm going to share because it was so powerful. And really, we've heard all of these things, okay? If you were on the silver call that we just got off of, Madison it was sharing about, uh, before I had to get ready and get off, she was talking about getting on the phone. And I have to jump in and just say that right away. There's things that's gonna move your business forward. First of all, do it afraid, exactly what Deborah said. The mindset is the biggest thing. So whatever you need to be doing to help your mind get into events, book studies, diving into these calls, um, study, you know, like literally it's 80% mindset. We all say that, we quote it, but what are we doing about it? Y'all, if you're not having a change of mind, you need to, to not just take in information. You need to apply it. Take the time to do the things, right? And do them afraid and do them uncomfortable and get out of that um, comfort, <laughs> right? So I'm just going to encourage you. There's no excuses. If you want this enough, you will find a way. You can, and I'm going to say this so with certainty, you can be on that cruise if you really want to be there. You 100% can do it. It's not just, it, it's, it's top growth. It's all up to you and me. It's up to us to do it. But yes, God brings the increase. When we do the work, we do our part, we pray, we do the affirmations. The Lord brings the increase, but it's a mind thing, most of all. And, and action was the next thing I was going to say. We got to get into action after we get our minds right. And if you're stuck, y'all, if you are feeling stuck, I'm going to tell you this from experience because I just came out of there. If you're on the struggle bus and feeling stuck, it's time to get off that bus and get onto the next one. It's time to realize that that's a mindset. You absolutely have everything it takes to be at the next level, the next rank, the next goal, to have business builders, to help people find success. If it's been done before, this is what they told us, one of the things, success leaves clues. I want you to write that down. Success leaves clues. Okay, you can do this. You have got to get that in your mind. And I feel like that every time I've gone to this gold school, that was one of the biggest things was really believing this is going to happen. And you know what, y'all? I've teared up a couple of times, even this morning on a jewel call. You know why? Because I begin to imagine what it's going to feel like when I'm on the stage being announced as a sapphire. It makes me want to cry again because I believe it's actually going to happen. I know that it's going to happen. I, I was thinking about what it's going to feel like when I have diamonds underneath me being on the stage and I see the things they're going to do to unlock doors for others, right? The potential of all the things. And y'all, I'm believing it more than ever before. And something has shifted. I'm, I'm willing to go for things more now, to get on the phone, to do the uncomfortable things. Um, so mindset is so important. And this is why. You have to do these things, right? Getting on the calls if you can. I know it's a sacrifice, y'all. I understand. And let me just tell you, you don't have to do it. You really don't. But do you want this? If you want to be at the cruise, if you want to have the next rank, if you want to help business builders, whatever it is, right? Whatever you want, it's literally up to you. So this isn't a condemnation at all. You have the freedom. It's your business, to do whatever you want. If you feel like, you know what, I'm happy where I'm at, that is totally fine. But if you're wanting this enough, you absolutely can do it. And we are here to help you to that place. And, and, and you have the tools, you've got all the resources, you've got the clues that people are leaving, right? And the Lord can enable you to do all the things. Um, so I'm gonna go through my notes here and read a few things. Um, all right, so there is skill involved. There is some skills involved, right? Just like I talked about the mindset work we have to be willing to do. You have to be willing to grow still, but you don't have to feel like you've got to have it all together before you've even gone for anything, okay? I know that this is a real thing and I have had that feeling too. Like, oh my gosh, I'm scared. Like, you know, what's that going to look like? When, and I actually watched do Diamond documentaries, y'all. And then it kind of freaked me out because I'm like, 
what are they going to say about me? Am I actually going to be able to do all those things? <laughs> and I was like, oh my gosh. But then I got excited when I realized the journey that we get to learn that I, at, the more you watch, the more you realize they're all saying the same things. Then I'm like, oh my goodness, the transformation's going to happen. And that is what I get to look forward to instead of, so flip it, flip it right around instead of, oh gosh, I'm never going to have that happen. Oh gosh, how am I ever going to do that? What if you flip it and say, oh my goodness, I'm going to learn how to do this. Oh my goodness, I'm going to impact these lives. I'm going to see how many people's lives I can impact and how much they're going to be inspired because of it. The person that God has for me to talk to or whatever it is, right? The, the things that I'm going to be able to do. So flip that script right now. I give you permission to do that. I give you permission to fail forward, to learn by doing things, to go for no. Okay, this is all going to move your business forward. What I'm telling you right now is doing the things scared, having belief in yourself. You've got to believe in this company, the opportunity. You've got to believe in yourself. And if you feel like you're struggling with that, we can help you. You can do this, right? But you need to do the work to get the belief up. That's where I think, Michelle, you did a video recently. You were talking about the whole um, the giants and the land, right? And they were going to take the promised land and Joshua and them were, they weren't, were they just told, and I'm going to say it again, because it's too good of a point that you made to not say it again. They did. It wasn't just like, okay, go take the land. They're all just going to fall over. What did they have to do? I mean, literally had to go around and worship and blow the trumpets and the, it was, it was work. And then they still had to fight. <laughs> so they had work to do. They had things they had to do to access those promises, right? It, I mean, yes, that happened. The walls, fell and yes they had victory but there wasn't just like super easy in other words right there's going to be some hard things if you really want to go for a goal it's not always easy but what if it's not as hard as you think though I know I'm getting a lot of these lines from Michelle I can't help it you're rubbing off on me girl <laughs> um but y'all there's some skill involved you got to get some skin in the game you have to stop being Okay, I'm just going to be real upset so easily about the little things. Okay, there's going to be issues with there's going to it's hard to work with people sometimes y'all it's hard to deal with. Um, I mean, you know, things go wrong stuff happens people aren't always happy. It, it, I understand that, but it's also so rewarding to see the lives change, the transformation. And it's gonna be rewarding to grow and the growing pains don't feel great sometimes, right? But you're gonna feel amazing on the other side of that. Look, I go to the gym a lot. Let me just tell you, um, I had actually had a couple weeks off, which was not cool, but I got back in with like, dude, I'm not letting this happen. We had had no vehicles and all these things happening, right y'all? So I slacked a little bit. Well, then I got back in the gym and I was going after it on Monday. And let me tell you, I was sore more than I've ever been sore in my butt, in my legs, in my hamstrings for like a week. And I'm still sore, sort of, but it's worth it. And I'm going to do the hard work and I'm going to suck it up and I'm going to keep on going. Right. And know that there's a little pain involved to get the results I want. So I want to ask you again, write down right now, what are you avoiding? What am I feeling like is hard? Write that down. If you if you need to watch this again later to do that, that's fine. What am I avoiding? Is there someone I'm scared to talk to? Is there something I'm not sure about doing? Um, and, and what feels hard? And, and then we're going to go back over that. Or you can go back over it with whoever, you know, your upline is. And we can pray through those things. We can talk through those things, work through those things. What? And then I want you to write down. Um, well, I want you to think of this, what your why is. You have to be so clear on your why. Is it being on that stage? Is it being on that cruise? Is it being completely out of debt, paying your house off early, giving funds to fund missionary movements or whatever, like orphanages, um, you know, your husband coming home, being able to be home with your kids? What is it? Being able to hold your grandbabies, being able to not have to work full time. I want you to, to think about it until it makes you emotional. What is my why? What am I called to do? How many lives can I impact? What permission, Lord, do you ha have you given me? Like asking, what have you given me in this? Who do you have for me to bless? Who can I impact? And, and really go after your clear why, a clear purpose. And then I want you to think, okay, now is it worth it to do these little seemingly hard things 
to deal with customer service sometimes, to deal with a person complaining, to deal with the no's you might get. I've had rejection from family members, y'all, and I've also seen some incredible victories my mom and my sister and my brother have had, and it's worth it. It was worth it to go through some no's, to get to the fantastic yeses. It was worth it to go through some hard things, sacrificing maybe some sleep or sacrificing some movie times or TV times to see what this has done to our finances and how many lives I've been able to impact. So being willing to do the hard things, is it worth it? If you're wise big enough, you're going to know that it is, right? So I want you to think about that. Um, and let me just cover a couple things here. She said this, some of this she said, your why and your vision has to be clear. You must have high belief in the products, the business, and, and in yourself. And what are you willing to do to get that if you don't have it? Um, immerse yourself in what we have to offer. And then one of the ladies said this, and it was so good. If you're just reaching out just to think of a VIP customer, just to get the incentive, you're missing what you could be doing. You're missing tons of opportunity that you could be having by talking about the business. I'm now getting on the phone more. I'm talking to everyone about the opportunity, even if they're not interested. I'm sharing with everybody because I don't want to prejudge. I've done that. Don't prejudge where they're at. Don't prejudge, oh, they can't afford this. Let me tell you something. There are several people right now going after in my team that I literally did not believe they would ever want to do this. I remember Cecilia, I actually was scared to get her on a three-way call because I was afraid she was not going to ever want to do this. And I knew Michelle was going to ask her the magic question. And guess what happened, y'all? At the end of that call, my whole perspective was changed because you know what Cecilia said? I have been dreaming for something like this. I have been waiting for somebody to ask me. It makes me want to cry or think just to think about it because the blessing Cecilia is, the impact that she has on my life and on so many other lives. And y'all, you know what she decided at the end of that call to get on a van in a van with us in a week's notice and went to convention with us. Oh my gosh, Cecilia, you're incredible. Like she has seven kids, y'all. Oh my gosh, y'all. There's no excuses. <laughs> So this is the thing. She was hungry. She wanted it. She did what it took to make it happen. She said, I'm going to figure this out and I'm going to be there. And I'm just telling you this now. And I don't know if you can tell, but I'm fired up because I know where we're going. I feel like God has given me this blueprint of where we're going and I can see it. And I just want y'all to see it. I, I feel like the Lord is like, do you know what I'm about to do? Like, just press in, lean in, just hold on. Don't give up. Don't grow weary in doing good because at the right time, you're going to reap a harvest. It's going to be worth it. I'm telling you from a year of barely maintaining and all of a sudden shift has taken place and I'm now running and things are happening. And I know that movement has already happened and I'm getting to the next rank in the next few months. And I'm going to bring as many people as I can with me. And it's going to happen. It's going to happen. But we get to influence and impact lives on the journey. That's what I'm excited about too, right? We get to impact our kids. My children are like, go for this goal, mom. You can do this. It's impacting their lives, seeing what we're achieving, right? So I want you to close your eyes and I want you to envision what is, what is it, I know Michelle did this recently, but what is it that you feel called to do? What Whose lives do you want to impact? And what does that mean? What is it that you want to, where do you want to be in a few months from now or in six months from now? Where do you feel in this business? Are you on that cruise? Is it the next rank? Is it having somebody under you that you've impacted their life? Being able to pay off a house note or whatever. I'm no longer having to borrow money from somebody. I've had to do that. I've had to borrow money. I've had months of having to do that. And y'all things have shifted. I'm telling you it's worth it. So I want you to envision, God, what do you call me to? How many lives can I impact? And I want you to think about this. And I'm going to read a few scriptures over you. And I'm going to end this call. But um, there's non-negotiables you're going to need to write down. You might need to have a talk with your family. You have to be intentional. Because what you're saying yes to, you might be saying no to something else. So what is important? I want you to do what you're called to do, not what I'm called to do. 
I want y'all to know that you have permission to dream. You have permission to go for the things that God has put in your heart and you're worthy of it. I felt like I wasn't worthy of diamond. And when I sat by Whitney War and I cried my eyes out because she said, you know, I didn't feel like I was worthy of diamond. And I realized that I had that same poverty spirit way of thinking. I didn't feel like, and then I realized, oh my goodness, God trusts me with this kind of income because I've been faithful with the little, he's going to make me ruler over much and I'm going to impact many lives. And I don't have to feel that way. And God just broke that thing off of me. And I want to give you all that permission. And so I want to read the scriptures to you really quickly and end this and to honor y'all's time. Cause there's a lot I could have said more, but I feel I was just fired up <laughs> and just preaching from what I was feeling in my heart. Y'all, um, there's actually still a lot of notes here that I could say, but it's okay. In 1 Corinthians 16, verse 13, it says, remember to stay alert and hold firmly to all that you believe. Be mighty and full of courage. Let love and kindness be the motivation behind all that you do. What if that's the motivation? That we get to have love and kindness to impact so many lives, y'all. And it is. And this, let this verse, like we can have courage. We can be bold. We get to impact lives. We get to transform not only our family's life, but many others and, and leave a legacy of that. I'm going to read the next scripture. And this one's very familiar. One of my favorite verses, Philippians 4.13, but I love the passion translation. And, and of course we know that um, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me, right? Um let me just read how this is worded. He's talking about, he says, you know, um, Paul is talking about how he's gone through all kinds of things and learned to be satisfied in different circumstances. And then he says, and I know what it means to lack. And I know what it means to experience overwhelming abundance for I'm trained in the secret of overcoming all things, whether in fullness or in hunger. And I find that the strength of Christ of Christ's explosive power infuses me to conquer every difficulty. So I want to encourage y'all to let the strength, strength of Christ's explosive power infuse you that you're going to be able to conquer every difficulty, no matter what it is in your business, in your home, in your marriage, in your finances, that this is impacting our lives, right? This is impacting others' lives. You can do this. And the other one is Hebrews 10, 39. And then actually I'm going to back up a little bit, but the Lord is saying my righteous ones will live from faith. He wants us to live by faith. And y'all, let me just tell you, I know that sometimes this business is a faith walk, right? It's a faith walk. We're pleasing the Lord when we walk by faith. That to me was encouraging. It says my righteous ones will live by faith and live from faith. But if fear holds them back, my soul is not content with them. But we are certainly not those who are held back by fear and perish. We are among those who have faith and experience true life. And so to me, that was very encouraging too, that we can have faith. We can be courageous. We're not going to hold back and let fear stop us. We're not going to I'm sure it was scary when those giants were in the land and they were marching around and when the walls collapsed, I'm sorry, but I would have been screaming. The walls are collapsing. <laughs> I don't care if I knew ahead of time, I jump y'all and somebody just walks in the room and goes, you know, like just jump. My kids make me scream all the time. It's hilarious, but I would be screaming and freaked out. It didn't mean that they ran away though, right? They ran towards it, knowing God's with them. And so that's what I want to leave y'all with that. No matter what you can do this. But do the work and know and trust that the Lord has got you. He's going to bring the increase. And um, yes, you need to fill your calendar with appointments. You need to get on the phone. You can cast vision, all of these practical things. But I really just wanted to hone in on mainly y'all's belief and your mindset and really go after what your clear vision and why is. And um, anyway, and I know that we can all accomplish amazing things, right? So that's it. <laughs> that was amazing, Angela. Thank you so, so, so much. I love your heart. I love your passion. Um, I'm just going to pray to end us. 
<sighs> Father, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for what you are doing in our midst. You are God. You are faithful. You are good. You are redeemer. You are Lord. You are El Shaddai. You are Jehovah Jireh. You are Jehovah Rapha. You are everything. You are our Lord. You are the lover of our soul. You are our savior. You are our king. You are our best friend. This is all for you and because of you. And yet you have given us all things. Father, I seal these words in the name of Jesus by your Holy Spirit. And I pray that they would burn within us, that these words would burn within us. And God, I pray that you would infuse each and every person on this call and each and every person that's watching this recording with faith and belief to get up and step out of the boat, keeping their eyes on you and walk on water. We pray for increase. We partner with you, Holy Spirit. Come work with us, and then we will have success in all we do. We love you, Lord. And it's in your name we pray. Amen. 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 Fields are right. Lord said, mm -hmm. open your eyes and see. It's there for the picking yeah. in a season. For those that can see it, they'll take it. So friends, lift up your eyes and go. Angela, thank you so much. Thank you, friend. You're welcome. So <sighs> now who's going to be on the cruise? <laughs> That's right. That's right. That's you got to right. see it. All right. Bye. Bye, everybody. <laughs>